Thunderstorm, Level 1 A Level 1 storm is a basic thunderstorm, often short-lived and relatively mild. It forms when warm, moist air rises, cools, and condenses into cumulonimbus clouds. Thunderstorms are marked by thunder, lightning, rainfall, and gusty winds. While these storms may seem harmless, they are responsible for hundreds of injuries and deaths annually due to lightning strikes and localized flooding. Winds typically stay under 40 miles per hour, and rain can cause slick roads and minor power outages. These storms usually last less than an hour and are considered the starting point of more serious storm systems. They often precede or follow more intense storm types and are common in most climates around the world. Severe Thunderstorm Level 2 A Level 2 storm is classified as a severe thunderstorm by meteorological agencies like the National Weather Service when it exhibits at least one of the following winds over 58 miles per hour, hail at least one inch in diameter, or the potential to produce a tornado. Severe thunderstorms can cause major property damage, such as breaking windows, denting cars, destroying crops, and downing power lines. These storms also produce heavy rainfall that leads to flash flooding, especially in urban or low-lying areas. Additionally, the lightning is more frequent and intense, increasing the risk of fires and injuries. Severe thunderstorms can evolve into supercells or line up into squall lines, making them a critical step on the storm severity scale. Supercell Thunderstorm Level 3 a level 3 storm is a supercell thunderstorm, the most dangerous type of thunderstorm. These are highly organized systems with a rotating updraft called a mesocyclone. Supercells are relatively rare but incredibly destructive. They often produce extremely large hail, sometimes larger than baseballs, along with winds exceeding 100 miles per hour and violent EF3 to EF5 tornadoes. Supercells are typically isolated and can persist for several hours, growing in intensity as they move. The structure of the supercell allows it to maintain strength over long distances and periods, unlike ordinary thunderstorms. Supercells are responsible for most of the deadliest tornado outbreaks and hail damage in the US. They also bring torrential rain that leads to catastrophic flash floods. Squall Line, Level 4. Storms that are classified as level 4 typically take the shape of a squall line, which is a line of thunderstorms that are arranged in a narrow band that can be hundreds of miles long. These storms typically develop in front of a cold front. Although the strength of individual cells might not be sufficient to qualify them as supercells, the combined force of these cells makes them extremely deadly. Straight line winds ranging from 60 to 100 miles per hour, torrential rain and hail ranging from small to medium in size are common characteristics of squall lines. The storms move quickly and have the potential to cover enormous areas with little to no prior warning. The most common repercussions include disruptions to the power supply, damage to structures, and delays in transit. Derecho, level five. A derecho is a special sort of long-lasting squall line that causes broad and long-lasting wind damage. A derecho is a type of storm that is classified as a level 5 storm. For a storm to be considered a derecho, it must have traveled more than 250 miles and have wind gusts of at least 58 miles per hour for most of its length, as well as some gusts that were well separated and exceeded 75 miles per hour. During these storms, forests can be wiped out, automobiles can be flipped over, mobile homes can be leveled, and billions of dollars can be lost. For example, the Midwest derecho that occurred in the United States in 2020 caused losses of more than $11 billion, making it one of the most expensive thunderstorm complexes in the history of the world. It is one of the most dangerous forms of storms. It is also one of the most underestimated. Tropical Storm Level 6 a level 6 storm is a tropical storm which forms over warm ocean waters and has sustained winds between 39 and 73 miles per hour. Tropical storms originate from tropical depressions and can evolve into hurricanes if conditions remain favorable. These storms are circular and have organized convection thunderstorm activity around a low pressure center. Tropical storms bring torrential rains, strong winds, and dangerous storm surges, especially in coastal regions. Flooding is the most common and deadly hazard associated with tropical storms. While not as strong as hurricanes, tropical storms can cover massive areas and persist for days, causing extended periods of rain and instability even far inland. Category 1. Hurricane Level 7 In the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale, the beginning of the scale is a storm with a level 7 intensity. 
During a Category 1 storm, the sustained wind speed ranges from 74 to 95 miles per hour. It is likely that there will be some small damage at this stage, such as tree limbs that have snapped, power outages, and light structural damage to structures that have not been reinforced. Category 1 storms, although they are not catastrophic, are nevertheless capable of bringing deadly storm surges and significant rainfall. It is not uncommon for low-lying locations to experience coastal erosion and flooding. Despite the fact that some individuals prefer to ride out a Category 1 hurricane, officials frequently advise getting out of the area based on the conditions in the area and the resilience of the infrastructure. Category 2 Hurricane Level 8. In the United States, a hurricane with sustained winds of 96 to 110 miles per hour is classified as a Category 2 hurricane. Mobile homes, roofs, and other small buildings are particularly vulnerable to the considerable damage that can be caused by these storms. Debris that is in the air becomes a significant risk. In many cases, trees are uprooted, which results in power outages that are more widespread. The roads may become impassable as a result of water or trees that have fallen. In addition to rain bands that can extend hundreds of miles inland, storm surges have the potential to overwhelm coastal highways and buildings. During this level, many communities begin the process of evacuating their residents because of the increased risk to both life and infrastructure. Category 3. Hurricane Level 9. This storm is a Category 3 hurricane, which is also considered to be a major hurricane. It is a Level 9 storm. Category 3 storms are capable of causing catastrophic damage due to their wind speeds that range from 111 to 129 miles per hour. Homes that have been constructed properly may suffer damage to their roof decking and gable ends, and even after the storm has passed, they may not have access to electricity or water for several days or even weeks. The storm surge can reach heights of up to 12 feet, at which point it will flood entire coastal villages and cause damage to vital infrastructure such as bridges and levees. At this point, mandatory evacuations are frequently imposed, and failing to comply with these orders might pose a significant risk to one's life. Category 4 Hurricane Level 10 A Category 4 Hurricane is a storm that has sustained winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour and is classified as a level the pool. Damage of a catastrophic kind is caused by these storms. Power poles are brought down, the majority of trees are snapped or uprooted, and the area becomes uninhabitable for a period of weeks or months. The structural integrity of homes can be severely compromised, notably in the areas of the roofs and walls. Complete destruction has been inflicted upon mobile homes. There is a possibility that storm surges will be 15 feet or more, and inland flooding will become highly hazardous. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one.